Welcome back to Chat Chit. You would have seen in the title and the thumbnail, we're talking about Adelaide, and this will be the start of a series where we talk about each team, how they went in 2023, and how we think they're looking into 2024. Yeah, exactly. So they finished in 10th place in 2023. Quite underwhelming season for them. I think at the start of 2023, they were predicted to finish around where they did end up. But after looking at all the close losses that they had throughout the season, I think they would have expected to maybe finish, push into the top eight. And we know the controversy uh, yeah. uh, around the game with the I Swans. Mean. Ben Keys hit the post, did it not? Obviously, it did not. So they should have made the eight. But what do you think they would have thought of their last season? I think heading into 2024, they will be really, really happy with how they did last year. It, like In terms of team performance, in terms of results, as you just said, underwhelming. But when you look at their actual results lost by one to Collingwood and then lost by two to Collingwood when they played them later in the year and that that's the team that went on to be premier they lost to Brisbane by six Melbourne by four and to the Swans by one in a game that we know they should have actually won well I mean they had the fourth highest percentage as well of any team that played and finished in 10th yeah and what we know about Adelaide is they have a dynamic forward line you have the experience and dominance of Tex Walker can he go again though not as much, not as well as he did last year, but, but he is can that definitely. Gonna, is go that going to impact them a lot? Can you see I, I, the other the other full forwards, the other tall forwards stepping off Adelaide? I think they can. Maybe not to the level that Tex did last year, but you have young guys like Darcy Fogarty and Isaac Rankin who are only going to be better this year, and will I think more than fill the gap of Tex Walker maybe declining, but who knows? Maybe he'll bring it again. Um, but yeah, we know they have a dynamic forward line. And then all around the field, they just have really solid players and solid young players who you look at their entire team and you think almost everyone in that team is going to be better this year than they were last year. Well, they're pretty set up for this this draft period coming up. They got pick 10, pick 14, pick 20. That's three picks in the first round. You'd expect them to heavily strengthen. Um, And then looking towards who they picked up, they picked up Chris Burgess, they lost Tom Dude, who didn't play a part in the most recent season, and they lost Shane McAdam, um, who was on the on the edge of retiring as well. Anyways, so they didn't actually lose a lot, didn't gain a lot. They're going to back in the squad that they had, and if a few results did go differently last year, they would have finished a lot higher up on the ladder. Um, looking towards the draft, I think if they just got to almost hit maybe two or one out of those three to be big important players, jump straight into the to the to the back line. I feel. Yeah, and, and they can be a real force in um, 2024. Def- definitely, when you look at Adelaide's 2020, uh, 22 personnel wise, the softest part is the back line, especially losing probably their most talented defender in Tom Duty uh, and Brody Smith only getting older. Uh, wait, is he retired? Oh, I'll, I'll check that. <laughs> oh, I'll check well, that. He, he won't be a big player this year if he is playing. And. Um, we, we know that they need to strengthen their back line if they want to be an elite team. But I think we both agree they are going to be a very, very good team this year. Well, they're also a very exciting team to watch. Huge scorers. Um, you know, if Rankin gets going, he's really exciting. We know, we we know how good Dawson is to watch. We know how good Dawson is to watch. Still heartbreaking. <laughs> we know if Tex gets going again, that's going to be huge for them. Just a, a real leader. Um, they've got some experience. They've got Laird. Sloan's probably going to go again. So, you know, I can't see why they couldn't even make a push if if things go their way for top four. But I think a big question is can they do it away from Adelaide? Um, can they, yeah, can they do it away from Adelaide? Yeah, I agree. And talking about all of those positives, where have you got them finishing in the ladder next, uh, this year? So for oh yeah, this year, to, oh, this coming year, um, I've, I've got Adelaide finishing in sixth place yeah and we know this is subject to change subject to change this is october yeah and we will do another video or recording updating this following the full completion of the draft and where we weren't and pre-season as well so just before the actual afl season starts but yeah i do think they're going to push into the top eight and like i said just before i think if things go their way and they have some massive performances at the mcg in brisbane out out west i can see them finishing and pushing for that top four just the team that they have, the coaching, it's its, it's done really well. Um, but I've got them in sixth just because I'm, I'm not trusting their away form just yet. What about you? Very similar to you. I have them in fifth place. I think everyone who follows footy closely is really, really excited for Adelaide and sees them as a team that has to do better than they did last year. If they don't make the eight this year, I think that'll be a sorely disappointing season.
Yeah, I still think if they weren't to make the eight, I, th- I still think they're back in the coach. They're back in they're back in the squad that they have. They are still a very young team. Um, but I think if I was the AFL, if I was Adelaide's board, I'd be definitely expecting a, a top eight minimum, absolute minimum finish this year. Um, especially with their crosstown rivals Port competing so well, they'd want to at least maybe just get the edge on them. Absolutely. Well, there we have it. That's Adelaide Crows. October predictions and we'll see you in the next one.